basically everything that you do in Unit 1 of Grade 11 Math is building towards answering this kind of question, where you're asked for the intersection points between a line and a parabola. Now, you're not going to like this question at first because there are several steps to it, but after you do three or four of them for practice, you are going to like it because it's easy marks if you know how to do it. The way you're going to answer questions like this is to set the equations equal to each other and then move everything to one side. You may have to foil it or simplify it, or collect like terms and stuff like that, but what you're going to do is solve for x with either the quadratic equation or factoring, whichever you choose. Once you have those values for x, you're going to plug them into either of the original equations and then state your solutions. Now again, it may look intimidating at first, but let's try it out. Where does this line cross this parabola? Where do they intersect? Well, set the equations equal to each other. Piece of cake. x minus 1 equals x squared or x plus 2 squared minus 9. That equals that. Step one's done. Move everything to one side. Uh, let's move everything to the uh, right side here. So I've still got my x plus 2 squared minus 9. I move x over, becomes minus x. Move minus 1 over, becomes plus 1. I'm left with 0 on that side. You want one side to be 0. Foil, collect like terms, simplify. Oh, we're certainly going to need to do that because this doesn't look too pretty. x plus 2 squared can be rewritten x plus 2, x plus 2, minus 9, minus x plus 1. And I can foil this. x squared plus 2x plus another 2x plus 4 minus 9 minus x plus 1. Getting uglier, but now we can collect the like terms. I only have 1x squared here. In terms of just x's, I have 2x plus 2x minus x, that's uh, plus 3x. And in terms of just bare numbers, I have uh, plus 4 minus 9 plus 1. I think that turns out to be minus 4. And that looks much cleaner solve for x with quadratic equation or factoring. Sure, you could use the quadratic equation, but you can also factor it if you can find two numbers that multiply to negative 4 and add to positive 3. Oh, hey, I know what those numbers are. It's positive 4 and negative 1. Multiply to negative 4, add to 3. So, the factored form is x plus 4 x minus 1. Check. Still have to solve for x though. So, in order for the product of these two to be 0, either x plus 4 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0. Those are the two possibilities. This means that x is negative 4. If we move the 4 to the other side, we get that. This means that x is 1, because 1 minus 1 gives 0. You can move the negative 1 to the other side and get that too. So, these are my two x's that satisfy the equation. I solved for x. Check. Plug each x into original equation. So, I'm going to plug negative 4 into either one of these. Well, this one certainly seems easier. So, let's plug negative 4 in there. f at negative 4 is x minus 1. Negative 4 minus 1. Turns out to be negative 5. If we plug in 1, f of 1 turns out to be x minus 1, which is 1 minus 1. See, x is 1. Now it's 0. So, when x is negative 4, y 
is negative 5. When x is 1, y is 0. And those are the two points at which the parabola intersect the line. That's stating the solution. Again, it's a fairly long process, but you're going to have to be able to do it. Set them equal to each other and move everything to one side. Simplify it so that it looks nice and pretty. Then either factor it to solve for x or use the quadratic equation and it'll just give you these two numbers right off the bat. Plug each of those into your original equation. It could have been either of these. Didn't matter. And when x was negative 4, you get negative 5. That's a coordinate. When x is 1, y is 0. That's a coordinate. Now it's worth noting that you could just graph the line and the parabola and then you know see where it intersects. If you can see my graph here, I did it on my computer, I've graphed the parabola and the line and you'll notice that they intersect each other at negative 4, negative 5, hey, 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 and at 1, 0. Awesome. If you prefer to graph it, you can, but you should be ready to do it algebraically because your teacher is probably going to ask you to. Good luck.